Sarah Elizabeth Good was born in Toledo, Ohio in 1850 into slavery to Oliver and Harriet Jacobs. She gained her freedom at the end of the Civil War and moved to Chicago where she met Archibald Good and got married. Archibald Good was a carpenter, the couple had six children. Along with her husband Archibald, the family owned a furniture store. Chicago was an industrial city that experienced a tremendous influx of people during the late 1800s. In this jam-packed city, it was expensive to rent an apartment, sometimes many family members lived together in a cramped place. As a result, they needed ways to save space. Sarah Good designed a folding cabinet bed that was perfect for people living in tight housing and allowed them to make use of their space in a more efficient manner. It could be used for sleeping during the night but converted into a roll-top desk during the day. In 1885, Sarah Good became the first African-American woman to receive a patent. The cabinet bed was a clever and efficient way to help families maximize their space, it was a single piece of furniture that could function as a storage cabinet, a desk, and a bed. Good's cabinet bed had sections with hinges when the cabinet was unfolded the whole thing became a handy bed with mattress included. It could be raised or lowered as needed. When it was not being used as a bed, the owner could take the mattress out. The cabinet also worked as a desk. There were even small compartments in it for supplies. The folding bed, a precursor to modern Murphy beds and hideaway bed slash couch. Over the years other inventors created space-saving furniture, such as day beds, sofa beds. Sarah Elizabeth Good Legacy lives on. Today there is a science technology, engineering and mathematics education school that is named after Sarah E. Good in Chicago. Sarah E. Good opened up the door for many African-American women to file and obtain patents for their inventions. Sarah E. Good died in Chicago in 1905 and was buried in Graceland Cemetery.